Sees Matt Paul, good numbers on Dusk, good numbers on Vertigo. Mirage, of course, avoided by Ents. And we're into the fray, into the mid fight. Three stacks strong here for Ents. We got double duelies, Harry. We got the quadies, and we've already got them hitting heads, shredding vitality in middle. Great start to the game for Ents. And a lovely read to find all those four kills. As Zai Wu, mentioned by the desk, mentioned by Yanka coming into this one, having a bit of a tough tournament so far in comparison to the high highs we expect of him. Got to pull out something impossible. Up through mid, and Madden is already tucked in, ready to receive. And he will. Nice pistol. And so ends this one, should come pretty much for free. Yeah, Vitality made some footsteps towards eight. And they're just hanging on. Ooh, Glock. <laughs> A little scary. One kill comes through for Vitality, and they are being patient on this, trying to milk as much as they can from a seemingly impossible round. But the one SMG out of the picture, and you won't find Ents pushing any more with these rifles. It's all about the spacing here on this T side for Vitality, making sure they can try and trade. No guarantees with Glocks. Yeah, I feel like we're just enticed because they have this one kill. It shouldn't get any weirder than that. Should just get cleaned up now in the long range fights, and that's exactly nice. what's going to happen, right? Really nice step. Ichi down the B stairs before Vitality approach post. Two CTs here. They are going to clear mid. Deep aggressive is some pious. And maybe even doing this double setup, this layered peak, no. Oh yeah, he goes over the top. Little wall, standing tall in middle. For any lurkers of Vitality, there are none in this round. Vitality already setting a very slow pace in these T-sides. They did on the Glock, they will here as well. Wasting Ents' time, but most importantly, wasting their util. Already most of the smokes out of this round. Only one left on Snappy. It is on the A-site, the right place. Will he use it with the lineup? Yep, deep down on the short. Vitality have to wait that out before they want to swing. But at this point, 50 seconds and the smoke to expire around 40. Vitality should have enough time to walk up A and get this execute going. Yeah, still there is uh, no. this, this kind of dregs of util for Ents to fall back on. And so Vitality can't afford to be too slow here, right? Nades and Molly still very much in play, and that's going to cause problems. Combined with this flank coming in, there's so many little timings that can be found oh, here that can back. be manipulated as they oh. try to go back. Now the bomb gets away from them. Some Pius with these kills might have just done it, playing oh. for time and even taking the third man out of it. Magisk has got a save. That's kind of been decided for him. Was never meant to be the intention here. And a beautiful wrap out of Some Pius. Plays that one to perfection. Yeah, that's the problem when you don't have any mid info, right? And even if Vitality had a mid player there, they likely would have been spamming to try and create a veil. Snappy is bruised. Just needs to capitalize on this, though. Snappy actually falls out. No Molotov for this position on Valde. And he's even got support from two more CTs ready to creep out. Even a timing swing for Valde would be perfect, and he delivers death. Apex gets a gun. Valde trying to fight from the sandbags. He has no pressure on him right now. Without the util on Vitality, he can just chill. re over the top of ramp. Vitality do get away. Now, some Pius might be privy to this info, and that's why we're seeing Ents start to lean back over towards this B side of the map. They've put together that something is not feeling right here. Snappy from beyond the grave. He can see what everyone else is seeing, so he's made this call across to the rest of the team. Smoke in at the top of the B ramp. Vitality, they don't want to wait for that, so they've got to go through it. Now we look at Dupree. Can he get this opener? That smoke on default is irritating. It's annoying. Just going to obscure the vision oh. and slow this one down. Zaiwu in the 1v4. Bomb out in the open. That's oh. a collateral from the dig. Everyone's... Yet again against Zaiwu. Snappy fast down short, but taking out the IGL's clash and Apex wins it. Even more damage oh. and Zaiwu's able to finish the job.
Valde doesn't know what hit him. Oh! It's a fast round Let's out of go. Vitality, and they've won every single gunfight on their way up ramp. Oh, we'll go back to getting in good utility. Majisk is surely a dead man. Even the wall bank did hit Deher, but Madden had already dropped the stairs. So, Vitality, the pace sucked out of this round. Back to what's not been working and caught Why can't even see him. Dupree does get one, but two casualties in the midst of the madness. Apex takes an orb, not a common weapon for him. Used to be the scouter on this team before Zaiwu took over and Apex taken down, leaves Spinks alone. On V4. Defo shouldn't happen, but uh, ends know what this guy is capable of. They know what he can do, and he's waiting in at the bottom of the ramp. Now, they're all just peeking this, and with the flash going in, we'll get them off the angle, but now they know he's here, and suddenly they don't really need to go peeking him at ramp. That nade almost deals with Valde. It's a shame if Spinks did hang around. It looked like Valde was going to take the fight to ramp. He was walking all the way down it. He's got cover, though. Now that he's low and tucked in. Run a 3-1-1 default. That's how he tried his hand at the ramp fight here. But uh, it did come up short. One of the things you're going to notice is that Magisk often left to kind of his own devices, given uh, a little more freedom than some of the other guys. Oh, tried his that's, that's, a that's a double molly layup onto Apex. He's got to smoke that. There was... <laughs> No moving out of that one. But yeah, Magisk, given this kind of freedom to, on his own, uh, on his own kind of feeling, on his own intuition, as to when to make these plays over towards B, he tried his hand at it quickly in the last round and obviously came up short on a bit of a smoke timing push. But now you see the idea behind it. You know, he's going to keep Ooh. this side of the map open. Nice. Yeah, he's got any more? <laughs> Gonna allow for them to come back over. Vitality moving up in towards this B site. Magisk at the front. Now Molly's gonna clear out quad now. They know that they've got this route to run into the oh. site. Ents are moving over, but Dupree and Magisk with the openers leave this even in the 3v3. Close. Nice flick tap for Magisk as well. One nade will be nice, it won't kill Dupree. Always good to have a high health player planting on a map like Vertigo where those nades are so important. And are they ready for Spinks? How late are they ready for Spinks? He's in no hurry. The retake hasn't even begun. He's here for the post plant. He's here for the clutch out as Ents try to move in from CT. They'll start looking away and that could not have been better for Spinks. Yeah, beautiful timing here. You thought that, you know, Snappy looks so aware of it, so aware of the tendencies. They're trying to get out and save. Spinks has just secured the deal on the round. He's like, yeah, yeah they are saving. They are gone. This Excellent. is ours. And so Vitality, they don't even bother trying to hunt. They need to worry about their own money, really, before they start getting concerned about other people. Orp is deep in mid with cover for ladder as well. It's a nice setup. But of course, death taxes and Spinks sitting mid. All inevitabilities. Zawi's setting himself up with that flash. Spinks waiting in middle. Good for the first umpire. It's going to try and trade this. Oh, oh, but try is the operative word there. Wow. And in the blink of an eye, a handful of kills come out for Vitality. This one's already over. Oh, you want to try and save over at B. Well, guess who's been waiting here since the start of the round? Now just lying in wait. D just wanting to save. But that is far from guaranteed here. And I mean, Vitality, as nice as keeping five alive is with Magisk here, I think you can more than justify throwing one player into the hunt. Yeah, they're just in no hurry. Wait for him to make a mistake. They've got the whole clock to work with, and they will not be letting him go out easy in this round. Even Magisk backs up to let his teammates guaranteed to trade Molly as well. He's really trying to squeeze this gun out of Diho. Who knows? He's now defending. The bottom of B stairs from both sides, which is for the nade. And he got opportunity that. to try and trade that with the AWP. That felt a little more like the classic Sphinx. 
Maybe he's bringing the help for us. Push down the ramp. Going to get destroyed. The results have yet to uh, have been the same. But just smoking himself again through. Twice he's done that. Twice he's died. And now Vitality have to dig deep. Another smoke push does help. Do pre find Snappy. And finally, Ents feel the freedom to flank. I like the routing for Madden. You can see Zaiwu is holding that corridor. Oh, this is great. Instead of even going for the A flank, he's just going to try and snuff out Sphinx in mid. It will take some time, and the CTs need to keep it alive. That Molly, good call for some pilots to not go through it, not force into a 1v1. They give up the bomb site, and we're still waiting on this flank. Madden's in no hurry. He's holding for Sphinx to come back. But maybe it's Vitality instead who leave. And that would be crazy. They would go into Madden, who, you know, gonna have that info. Looks like oh, instead they're gonna turn it. around, they're gonna move back up ramp. Sphinx is Rejoin Apex. Out. So Sphinx, he's the one who could get caught crossing here. There, there's no way you're ready for this, right? Madden should have this one on a platter. And yeah. there it is. Love that. that kill delivered. Now you know the Ents know you're coming this way, and so it's a little awkward. You just come to terms with pushing into the stack. You know you're going into the roughest waters, and yet Zai Wu braves it every step of the way. Front crawl up through the ramp. There is still this flank on the card, still Ooh. trying to get involved. Apex, oh. he sees the feet, but can't get off the bomb in time. Zai Wu, ah. I'm going to go back, but a missed shot seals his he face. stares immediately. This time it's allowed. Ents don't fight for the control. And look at what Apex has done with that information. He has gone all the way up through the smoke. Quick switch, almost Ooh. caught. Niha running back. Apex with a freebie, and he won't jump the gun either. Vitality take a five on four. They chill out. I got to say, for Apex, it, it's remarkably restrained, right? <laughs> He's very much someone who, when yeah. he gets that first, he quite likes trying to force the issue. And so just getting out, playing the 5v4, calling this slowdown, oh. it's nice. And now, you know, the little feely feelers of the B on this T side. Start to chow down. It's this 5v3. Oh. The beast fed at the bottom of B. And the play's not even coming in on this side of the map. Yeah, it's a bait smoke just to keep the AWP here. And in fact, it's forced Ents to fully gamble. They've heard nothing on A. Their smoke's expired, and Vitality have contacted up the ramp. Oh, that's a nice clear in middle. It might give Ents a way back in. They've got to win this fight, though. They've got to snuff out Magis, who's tucked in tight. Good dink, but not the kill. And Magis can get back as Vitality plant on the site. They've got a molly just to allow that. If the nade came in for Valde, he could have absolutely killed Apex from either Elevator or from CT. But even with that kill, maybe it's good it didn't happen. It's meant Ents are definitely saving. And that is the safer option of the two. Nothing worse than trying to save and still losing your guns to hunting yeah. T's though. And you said the Vitality were trying to establish their own money. Well, they finally have, Harry. Now they're going for it. Yeah, oh. Once you've got your bag, you've got to focus on taking everyone else's. That's the that's the smartest way of thinking. It's not enough for you to win. You need others to lose. Exactly. But as we know, Spinks is in no hurry. Oh, bit of a maybe a miscom on that flash. Maybe a bit of a misunderstanding. Matches could do through. Were meant to go in with it. Ended up getting full blind, but he they've got ready. the real estate anyway. Valdet wins his fight in middle. Yoink. Gives one gun over while he generates one of his own. This boost up. Oh, some pious. He's ready. He's holding for oh, this dead. exact boost. Yeah, if you you're try dead. to throw this oh. in. Oh, instead, D is going to do it. <laughs> Deagle up close, catches them, trying to assemble. And now into the orb they go, into the stack at this B side of the map. Wow. Magis blowing out the water after the first. So oh. he's gone. And some pious. Mentality. They've got to be very careful on these solo players not to die early. When they do, the results are resounding. Or again for some pious, and this is what we talked about in that Movi Star game. He was picking Zaiwu. He was finding those openers. Eight and five in the head to head in the BO3, and Vertigo was included. It was a map vitality one. But still, dominant scoreline. Some Pius is up for the job today. Madden's burning. It spreads at the last second, and Snappy swings a smoke to only one kill. Three on three. Vitality will 
move onward, but not for Longwood, as Sampires picks Majisk and posts again on the same angle. Apex fast, does get past, <laughs> but he's still probably going to leave and regroup with Dupree. Can't believe he tried to jump that. That's just so risky. Apex over the connector. Ooh, Ooh. timing on that. Turn oh. around, and Valdez going to... What a time to come alive in an elimination game. Zywu push, smoke, fire, bullets. They're all in his face. Dupree the same. What? Just behind that smoke, Snap I... somehow survives. Got to watch these nades. They can bounce back very easily. And Dupree will find out the hard way. I would be so mad. Dupree, I Rocked. don't know. He just he just put a full 30-round mag past Snappy, it felt like. Only to then get naded. Oh. Below. Madness right on top of them. Ah. Oh, oh, the tag. Heard it. The nade went off at the same time. Didn't have the audio cue to go off of, but the sandbag set up. Oh, the shadow's shadow. been seen. Apex, yeah. clean opener. Wow. But couldn't quite deal with Madden, who's there to re-aggress, keep this in the advantage events. Inside of the site, Snappy is dead, and they know that that second man was here just moments ago. Makes it back to shore, but for how long? Holds the line, and there's some pious on to arise then. What happens in the flip? They're up a man, but they haven't got the guns to work with, and Dupree can't really get that rifle at the top of stairs. Meanwhile, Vitality lay up smokes. These look like B-Execute smokes. They've been met one of their opponents, but D has not actually playing the site. They can cross in. He picks that first low player, and off the flash, finds a second. Nice D for Zaiwu. This round's still happening. Kind of wild, though, because none of these guns that are getting dropped are retrievable. This is still a D ground versus the rifles. And so throughout this all, it's been an uneven fight. Still, oh, Vitality is doing everything they oh. can. Zaiwu, three. Oh. This is Vitality's map pick. Yeah, I think we have a very uh, interesting game on our hands now. You know, if, if that last round from Zaiwu is going to reflect in this second half. You know, combine that with the fact that we're getting a really good game out of Sun Pius. Oh, we're in for a treat. Here's the flashes for this play up the ramp. Apex in at the sandbag. Ooh. Throwing this nade will give away his position. And now they know Sun Pius gets the better of Zaiwu. And then Snappy out nades Apex. Wow. Literally one for one within their roles. And it's battle. the end's players overcoming the odds. Bomb now going down. Vitality grouping and they pulled it back into a three on three. Oh, scripted pistol right here. Let's see what we've got. No kit right now. In they come over the top. Snappy, not in a hurry to take these fights. Does get a dink and finishes the job. Does not let his prey escape his clutches. Snappy looks for two. Just dueling, just dancing with death. So the best game at the Major Sun so far for some pies was uh, Enz versus B&E. He went 20 and seven in a 23 round game. We're but 17 rounds into this one, and he's already overachieved that. He's coming alive in this one. But the Deagles of Dupree break the silence first. It's a double down from the man at default. Triple D's here, and Apex even coming in on this flank. Advantage turns to Vitality. They might not have the firepower, but what they lack in guns, they make up for in men. They're grouped up. In CT, looking for this retake. Apex even coming back around, and zaiwu has been fed. Valde now has to do this all alone. He's still paranoid about ramp. Apex was seen here, and you're not going to have expected him to go all the way back through middle. There's no kit, though. I, this is a nice play for Vitality, but they have to get the kill quickly. If Valde can just buy a few more seconds, if he can tuck in, take his first kill, and then not peek, he can win this round. There it is. There's that kill. Tucked in. They chase him down, and Zaiwu hits the headshot. But this is going to be close, folks. I don't know if we've got a guaranteed round. Vitality seemed to believe, and so I'm believing with them. Seven there, just about. The blink comes in. I'll take Vitality for 500. It's not quite how that show worked, but here we are. Vitality over at the top of ramp. And looking to get stuck in. Okay, like they do want to fight for this. It's kind of a take on what they did in the pistol, right? It's it's inverse, though. Apex was the one at sandbag. Zaiwu was on short. This time, it's a roll reversal. However, not the results that Vitality wanted. Apex going to have to hold the line here. Two in the round. And 
thankfully able to back up out and keep this in the favor of Vitality. It's great from the IGL of, uh, of the squad that he's not giving away this advantage. He's not giving them a route into the A site. And really, it's the only reason why Ents aren't in this, this crazy position right now. They had to slow down. Now Vitality have had time to rotate over, and they've got everyone in the right place. If Ents can just tuck in for 15 or so seconds, Vitality might rotate some players out. They're already starting to consider this play. Scared of their flank, scared of the B site, two will leave. And Ents have actually scavenged a smoke. Scavenged a smoke. They've got a second. Some Pius is not only checking the flank, but knowing full well that they hear every footstep. Pitter patter. Apex is now the one flanking. Down the ladder he goes, Spinks tucked. They aren't going to use the smokes. They're contact into the site right now. Deha has moved up very far, and they hear that cl uh, click close. Oh, no, he's going over. Oh, he's denied it with six seconds. There's no chance. Physically cannot win the round. Too far gone, and Apex is right behind. Nice win from Vitality. Eco round for Entz, one that should be forgotten about pretty quickly. A stat pad round for Apex as he just goes fighting, taking all the risks, swinging short, super wide, just wanting the gunfights, wanting to get this one over and done with. Vitality are hungry for it. He's set up with a pretty keen opportunity to take some B control in this round. Vitaly didn't have anyone at this side of the map early. So they don't have that info ahead of time. They don't have the util in a B ramp. And that means the Ents have already got this control. That's a really nice thing to have in your back pocket with so much time left. You know, we saw Magis doing this on the T side, just constantly lurking over towards B. It just leaves that option open. It gives you a kind of get out of jail free card if you don't like what you see at A. It also allows for a little bit more trickery in the mid round. But now they've up and left B entirely. This is starting to more, you know, kind of limit their options and streamline them in on the A plate. Now there's been spotted over here in middle. There's a trade of utility down the ramp. Don't like that smoke from Zao, who possibly fell under the map. Oh, this util's great, though. There's smoke uh, here or not. Apex is mollied off the push, and he swings with it. That's a bridge too far. Would have loved a flash behind it. Sphinx just got here in time to throw one, but Apex just goes out with a Molotov. Oh, it's given Ents a way back in. Vitality will plug the hole by pushing two through on short. Sapphire's jumping. Okay. It's a headshot. No way he's going to be able to stop Zaiwu in his track, so a Magisk has moved through the smoke to stop the cross. He will. Only screams are going to use him on the second. Mm. Short player pushing again. Apex wounded, and he will get finished off. Majisk is there to trade. Here come the nades. I woo. 10 health. They know, and they will find a third in there to blow him out of the round. Enter about to win an eco, unless Majisk has anything to say about it. Yeah, Magic just has to go huge. Yeah, this has to be like a hero moment from him, and with him dead immediately. Ooh. Oh, okay. Spinks makes it a tad more interesting now. At least dropping the bomb gives plenty of time for Dupree to move over. He has also oh, low. This nade's going to find him. That plot won't come through. Going to be a recommitment to it for Ents if they do want to get this bomb down. There's a molly as well. You can try and deny it all over again, and these smokes are going to start to fade. Remember, this was a, a low econ oh. round for Ents. They might just have to fight for this site control. Dupree, he heard the reload. He knows that Valdez in this oh. corner. Yeah, and like being real, you know, this, this like insane game we're getting out of some pies. These, if we're talking about it honestly, this is kind of what you want for Zywu. This is what you want from Zywu. Yeah. He's meant to be, you know, the star. He's meant to be the the, the, the prodigal son of Counter Strike, you know, and he's meant to be someone who, in these big matches where it really matters, where it's all on the line, you're supposed to step up. You're supposed to get better. I haven't had that yet. For some pious on the other side, as mentioned, already best uh, best game of the event for him in this first map. Ooh. Apex, I mean, it's a dangerous peak, but he gets so much info for Vitality. They know that Ents are actually trying to commit here, so you'll already see the shuffles on the minimap mid abandoned. They're not scared of a lurker. Even that B player smoke stairs to leave, and Vitality remain three strong at A. It's a gamble, but it's the right gamble. 
They're going to give up the site now. Now that the time's low, this is actually a really nice call because they're a man down anyway. They can play for nades on the plant. And once that plant comes in, if they double nade it and then start chasing, enter in hot water. But Vitality for now have re-aggressed in middle. They won't be here forever. This is fine. Don't panic yet, uh, folks. Smoke's going in. Apex flashed for the oh peak, boy. and Zai Wu Forget the goes through the smoke. Oh. He's fighting ahead of it. That's more like it. There There's it the nade you talk about. Some pious in the 1v2. There's another nade, but he's tapped the ball oh, to maybe. bait it out. And now the 1v1. Three seconds. He needs the kill. Dupree oh. is. Peak. Artillery strike on the A site through the smoke over the in-game leader, and Apex wins what? that fight. What? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That's uh, a mind blower. But at least Apex has flashed into that engagement. That's why Snappy whiffs. He's blind. A better face as the in-game leaders clash. Yeah. Oh. You know, when we were asking if Apex was going to be leaps and bounds ahead tactically, I don't think that's quite the meaning we were looking for. But he makes it work. They've got B. They just don't know it. Yeah, I totally do this sometimes, right? You'll see that Dupree wasn't here at the start of the round. He was already leading away. So having to come back in late, it is a little problematic. It's, you know, it, everything's suddenly very uncertain. And now Ents have gone super deep. Madden playing around this smoke at the generator. And even though Magis trades, it's cancelled out by some pious on the Tech 9. Still traded by Zaiwu after the fact. Apex is here. They've got two smokes to try and make this happen. Can try to lock off some of these sight lines, make life a little bit easier. But right now, they're just walking in silent on the approach. They've seen oh. one man in a Tetris, but they can't finish the job. And Apex decides to write this one off. He's out of there. He's saving. He's gone. And to Ents, they keep the lead in their favor. Hey, Vitality robbed around prior. It was about time Ents delivered one of their own. That's a lovely little B hit. And Dupree. Oh, fast up ramp. Madden, he seems to thrive in the chaotic environments of, you know, playing around these smokes, trying to go for these wild pushes. But even he'll taper off in this round. This hero gun is in the hands of Zai Wu, so if there ever was a time, there ever was a time... No, you. No, after him you. ...to show up, it's now. This is nice. Apex is going to flash Magis back into short later. They're nading ramp instead. This nade could be pretty juicy. I'm seeing three guys. I'm seeing a good chunk of damage done. It's not bad, but the flashes in response keep Apex tamed for now. One smoke, one flash. It's all about the gunfights here, really, for Ents. And they've got the rifles. Once these smokes expire, they have a bit more room to fight. But you know that Vitality have been playing the wall every time. Zywoo's on the wall. He is the wall. Some Pius has knocked down the first. But there are those trade kills from Zywoo. Majesty, Apex swings, and everyone falters for Ents. Valdi's thinking about the save. But he may not be given that luxury. Majisk has moved in for the killing blow. 12. And... Not a name we mentioned much and may not change as he gets spammed oh. very close through the smoke. He's Nade to six. Lucky to be alive, but probably not around. for long. Trying to play around it again, but the results just aren't there. Some Pius has it now, which is something. However, smoke spam oh. can just end his round. Out of ammo for Zai Wu. Oh. And Apex is tapped out too. Unlucky. That's a reasonable swing for Apex this time, but that Tech 9 finds the instant headshot and then follows up. It's gifted guns to Ents. They've not got the smokes. And so again, fight on the A site is the answer. Vitality should just again play their Uto. It's been how they've won most of these A rounds and they just have so much. Plus the flank, Sphinx has locked them in. They have to go. Oh, yeah. With the util to play around and the flank, like you say, like Vitality just don't have to face here. They're not feeling that pressure. There we go. Oh, the switch off the nade is kind of unfortunate. It means that that plant is allowed to come in. Fire. Uh, Magis can't see through the fire. He doesn't even realize where he was getting shot from. They make it back oh. to short and Magis now dead. Wow. Snappy living up to his name. Real quick with it.
two of them dead, leading by example, and now he's got to complete this in the clutch, 1v1. No kit. And his old teammate on the other side, his old star, well, he's got to snuff out this flame now to Snappy, and with a click of the finger, nade switch that throws the entire round into disarray. Well, they're low money, so they're probably going to win it. Vitality with SMGs crunching this B main area. Dupree falls off right as they enter. But they don't know about Spinks. He is the power piece of this round, and he's removed without a sound. Headshot for Valde, who's definitely come alive as we've gone later into this game. Enter five on three. They cannot bungle this round. There should be no way. Reaggression. But Jiska's got a flash for Dupree. He can jump on the wood right here. Let's see what he's got. Flashing. One for Dupree. Ooh. Just wants to get out of there. Just wants to stay alive. That Molly's a nightmare. It's sad that it's done so much to him. Great for Ents, though. They're rubbing their hands together. You know, that was kind of... That was really only, like, the the, the safe, in quotation marks, play that Vitality had. It was like that, that was the one bit of utility they had to support a play used, and it doesn't even bring it back to even odds. Now, it's best case in terms of just getting one, getting out, trying to play out the 3v4, but you still need that hero player to step up. Magisk coming his way, dead with nothing done. Do pretty much the same. Apex on this wrap round. Oh, my. What? Oh, Apex. It is a damn good try. Three out of four, but just falling short again. Oh, you know what it's going to do, though? It's going to keep the money low. It's going to keep it's either keep team forcing. breakable. Uh, it's tempting, Harry. It's certainly tempting. Look how uh, quick these kills come through. Thank goodness for Ents that their spacing is so tight. Something... Utility's been the name of the game in this matchup. I, you know, I can't blame this buy for Apex, but it is going to leave him with nothing in the next round if he dies here and again he is committed that's the danger of this rifle no one's saving this gun no one's gonna pick it up and put it to use he sees the cross and he gets nothing done that's the round folks that's 50 for ents puff copium all you want they're not getting out of this one alive no nah, you're you're dead on hugo the one powerhouse item dropped out of it and snappy farming cash Ents are on to map point on Vitality's map pick. Yeah, that's his crazy. debut major legend stage, looking to survive another day. Apex throws himself down the ramp. Oh, oh right at the front. Zaiwu dead after one over on the ramp side. Sun Pius at 34 kills deep. Just holding down W and believing he can feel that Ents have got this one in the bag. For Spinks and Dupree, realization setting in that if they can't do something huge here, this one gets away from them, and they're just one map away from elimination. Spinks dead, and Dupree followed up onto. It's a huge opener from Enz, spearheaded by some pious great.